All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, join us now as it begins in 3, 2, 1. This is the final score for Friday, April 18th, 2014, episode 155. Yeah. Everybody and welcome back to the final score. <coughs> a little something in the hole there. So I pulled a I pulled a big huge chunk of dirt out of the earth today. It was out of a, it was out of a, I didn't know where that was going to go. By a, the way, here's the reason I bring it up. Scared. It was a big hole in the ground that's supposed to be a drainage for the what do you call it the the uh, things on the side of your house. Toilet? The, no, the, the rain gutters. Oh, the gutter. Yeah, the rain and does. it had been plugged, and we didn't know why. So we pulled out this big piece of sod, and out came what looked like a giant horse penis. Just sharing that with you. Is it? Is it a mollusk? What was <laughs> no, it? It was just. It looked like a horse. It was just a bunch of wood, uh, mud and roots. A bunch of wood. <laughs> it was a bunch of wood. I was thinking of Nicole's a bunch of horse wood. Uh, it's the the final score, everybody. Yes. Video game podcast for the rest of us. Nicole's here. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Scott. Hi, uh, Brian's here. Hi, Brian. Hi, Scott. What's going on, guys? Okay. Been boring. <laughs> it's Friday. I'm a little, I'm a little. Did you play a game up till the hour? There, Nicole? No, I was working. I oh. got caught up in work. Oh, man. That is work, playing video games. That's no, what we it's not. That's get fun. It's fun. Paid to do. Sometimes. Sure. Yeah, you right? might. I don't. <laughs> you get money? Wait. What? Sometimes. It depends on the deal and what's going on. <laughs> but uh, we're going to talk about the ones we've been playing all week. And it begins with this. Hey! What are you playing? <laughs> More Diablo. M O A R what? Diablo. Did you play Diablo? A lot. Yeah. I got a, I got a couple of dudes up to 60s. Uh so now I've got I'm working on like three people. I'm gonna have three seventies before this month's out. Um I've got a bunch of uh, I've been working on my my Paragon levels with the with the main seventy there. And well, that's the Paragon how much level time? With you. How much time you? I don't even this? know. It just flies. I don't even know. Yeah. It's like oh, I have a couple hours here tonight. I'll just do it. So so the other night I hopped in real quick. Noticed that Matt, aka Dark Anders, was in there and working on his I don't know what. And I said, Hey, need any help? I said, Sure. As soon as I got on, immediately Ralph found us and said, "Hey, you guys, are event? let's said, get yeah, a pony land. Get in here!" And then play you guys playing games. And then Eric popped in and said, "How about four of us?" I said, yeah, "Absolutely." So four of us opened a couple of these uh, Demon Rift things, which are part of the end game in that, and it's totally fun, complete chaos, and amazing loot and gold. What is what what is, what is Paragon level? What Paragon is that, levels is, is like once you hit the cap. And they did this. Uh, this was brought in as a patch in the first. Diablo 3 game before Reaper of Souls long time ago. So so they've been in for right. a long time. But basically, once you hit level cap, then it was 60, now it's 70. You now get what are essentially more levels. So Paragon 50 would be that would mean you're a level 70 wizard, let's say. But you've got Oh my 50. god. So this is like this is like degrees of black belt. You become Kinda. a black belt, now you get Kind of, but they're more frequent. So they're real quick. And when you get them, you start perking your character. And so what Paragon levels do is let you say, I want a, want, you know additional percent toward um, critical hit uh, potential. Or I want an additional percent of life regeneration or speed or attack speed or running speed or any of these things. And there are all these different categories. And every time you hit a new Paragon level, you get a new point to assign in these Paragon like perk trees. Uh, and it's great. It's very addicting to want to open those. They come quickly. And you're also at the same time working on gear and, and you know, finding mats for like legendary crafting and all the other crap you get to do in that game. It's great. It's freaking awesome. It's way deeper than people think. Once you get in there and you get going in that stuff, it's really hard to stop. And we had a ball. We played these two. Okay, so these rifts are a whole secondary thing where when you're running just regular old, um, uh, what do you call it? When you're rolling, Diablo. Uh, not Diablo, when you're playing adventure mode, right, right, right. Um, you get these, I forgot the name of the tokens, but you get these little tokens. And those tokens can be used to purchase entry into one of these rifts, Nephilim rifts. And this, this sounds like bitcoins. It's a little bitcoiny. <laughs> they open up the rift, you go inside with you or your buddies, or just you can solo it if you want, but it's a lot of fun with friends. Crank the difficulty way up. You go in yeah, there. And you just go to this hellscape of some sort and you fight like crazy with your friends 
and all kinds of elites. And then a fi- finally, at the end, you have to kill a Rift Guardian, who is like this major boss. He had a fight at the end. And uh, that's where all the big fat loot comes from. So it's just, it's awesome. It's great. And to do two of those in a row, it was hard for me not to want to do a third. But was there was was there any Easter bunnies in the game this week? No, none of that. I mean, there is the Rainbow Land that Nicole mentioned. That's so I'm going to say, so Blizzard didn't really buy into the whole, you know, Good Friday kind of. Uh, they do in WoW. Yeah. They have in WoW. Yeah. WoW has the yeah, Noble yeah. Garden, is it called, I think? Mm-hmm. Noble Garden right, event? Right, yeah. And if you're really looking for that, just play Simpsons Tapped Out. Yeah, that game's got all your <laughs> themed crap. No, we're, yeah, wow. whatever. They cheat, man, because they'll go like for six months after, you'll still be doing Easter egg stuff. Nah, man. Yeah, that's not true. I'm that's glad you brought true. that up, Brian. Here's what I think. I think that Blizzard's had enough success with what they've done with holidays in WoW. I think they could totally right. do more of that in Diablo. For sure. That would be weird. It would be great. It just all you have to do is theme it. So it's like, I mean, WoW never does like straight up Christmas. It's like Winter Vale or whatever they call it. Right, uh, right, right. The Halloween one is something else. Want, and they, they just I want my monk to wear bunny ears. Yeah, see? Yeah, that's a great <laughs> I could, idea. I could do that. I that's that. a great idea. So I do have one thing to say if anyone at Blizzard's listening. Witch doctors are completely OP right now. Holy crap. Those guys They've always been. They've always been a little bit OP, though, haven't well, they? I've got a guy, he's like level 30, and I've got it cranked up to Torment 2, which is the highest difficulty Torment. level, plus two more levels of difficulty, and I'm having no problem soloing everything. And it's quick and easy, and bosses are going down. Like, I don't know what's going on there. That is not true of any other character or class I play. So I don't know what the, what's going on with those guys, but it's a nice reminder why there is no PvP in this game, because it is not balanced. Those guys would just dominate right. everybody. And they don't want to get nerfed because they're fun to play still. And with this sliding difficulty scale, mm-hmm. I can tune it to be as hard as I need it to be. But I feel like I'm cheating because I'm getting 300% or whatever it is. Um, right, right, right. Uh, XP playing- and everything because I'm on Torment. I'm on Torment, torment plus whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I'm walking out with way better gear. I'm getting legendaries with every freaking boss fight. Like it's, I feel like I'm cheating. So I don't know what's going on with that. That witch doctor is just out of control. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Game is great. Uh, keep going to keep playing it. Also, uh, Hearthstone for the iPad. Speaking of woo-hoo! Blizzard games, yeah, this thing's the enemy. It's of, about time. It's the enemy of sleep is what it is. Um, it is. Have you? Have I shown you my uh, my case for my iPad? No. Can you? I don't know if you can see the video. I can. Look at that. Look at you. Look at Where that. It? It's a never-ending storybook cover. It is the <gasps> coolest so thing I own. Does it come with a furry dog uh, dragon? Uh, 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 no, with the, the white ticks on it. Oh, God, that was so gross. Those were, that was gross, wasn't it? I'm not the only one. <laughs> the luck dragon. The yeah, luck dragon. the freaking gross yeah. dragon. So, yeah. I have a Nice. That's pretty cool. iPad. So. Take that, everybody who grew up and we did. <laughs> um, I want to, now you made me want a Hearthstone-themed uh ipad like leather you, case you know what mm. i think i'm i'm trying to talk mark into making <gasps> the box Dude, he should make the box. can i can i buy one can you make more than one uh if he makes one <laughs> that'll he probably might be, be able to make two so the way he works is if he's making one mm-hmm. he'll make multiples but he won't go back to something right no i understand that i wouldn't either no. it's the nature of woodworking i get it yeah but if he so, so even if what ends up happening is he just has like the all the info to make it that may be all i need i really want a hearthstone box i, I know bill is is crafting one as well he is his is What's all resin uh, plastic his, resin yeah yeah his is resin but mark's would be out of right. wood some kind of <laughs> testicle cancer given freaking because that's resin. what it, the the box looks like it's a you know a, a weathered wooden box it that, looks really that, neat yeah, yeah wooden wood is the way to go and you do like a really cool like aging finish on it and stuff mm-hmm. mark mark oh he's going to become the hero of the internet oh watch. mark oh i'm trying to tell him you need to make what it what kind of cards would you put in it uh you'd put all gold uh gold ones <laughs> i have a ton of tcg cards from uh Sweet. oh yeah the old uh, wow tcg i have a yeah, ton of those I have, too i have a ton of them yeah you can fill that thing up that's yeah. a good idea easy anyway Anyway, sorry. Fun times. No, it's good. I love that stuff. Anyway, it's really good on the iPad. It's as good as they promised. And, I love uh, it. It's really fast on anything newer than a two. If you have an iPad two, it can be a little slow. Mm. Won't play on the one. 
Um, plays on the tune. It's okay. It's not terrible. But it's okay. And then uh, the, uh, the is it free? The three. It's absolutely price. free. Of course, it's totally free. free. Just like it was on the PC or is on the PC. Did and you? it's cross play, Brian. So you could be on your PC or Mac, and I could be on my iPad, and we all play so together. Awesome. Now that is cool. It is really cool, and it's uh, it and, and you know all your progress is all tied to your Battle.net account, so it's not like you're starting over. You you just keep going with whatever you are already doing in that game. And it's um this sim- real simple interface. It's so much better than it was when they showed it at BlizzCon. It was it was a real buggy at BlizzCon. And it's this is a nice finished piece of piece of software and it feels great. It is already the highest selling app or the highest da- most downloaded app in 35 countries after one day of being available. Wow. Now what? holds the record. The record. That's amazing. For the most apps for the most downloads wow. in a day. I was just uh, on my iPhone just to just to see. Uh, no I'm iPhone. Looking, there's, there's, no, not well, yet. No, they no, said no, no. no, not yet. Are they? Uh, they are talking about it. it? They yeah, are. they're working on it. They right? showed it at BlizzCon well, and said, "Yeah, we're doing this. This, yeah, this and Android." So. Yeah. But man, I mean, you ought to see all the associated accessory crap people have put out there. Oh, oh yeah. I know. And Trying most of it, most of it was already kind of there. Like that stuff yeah. existed in there before this. There were strategy guides and card deck builders and mm-hmm. all that, all that kind of poo. But. um but yeah, this is the real business. This is the one you want. And it's great. Oh my gosh, it looks good. Plays did great, looks pony? great. Uh, I got my pony. I did. Yeah. And I got my um uh free, what did I get? Oh, you get a free deck for just downloading on the yep. iPad. Yep. And there was some other deal you got. I already had the pony because I did that on the PC version. Because that, that came out when they did the official non-beta launch. Yeah, so see, could- I hadn't played it since that was it was really my first time going back in and it's it's dangerous now for me to play this game yep orcs look real dumb on it i just want to point that out on that pony real dumb like i'm (laughs) sure it looks fine with humans or freaking blood elves or whatever but i look terrible on it (laughs) just like a big big fat dude (laughs) nothing wrong with big fat dudes i'm just saying uh, There's nothing wrong with big fat dudes. No, I mean, come on, because they could eat me right now. They could eat Brian. So I have to ask you, what deck are you playing the most of? Hunter mostly. Um, I'm a hunter, mage, and dabble a little bit in a shaman. But I really like the hunter deck a lot, so, or the hunter um, cards. I like all the secret stuff they do. I really like my pally deck. Do you? See, but yeah. that's what's great. Once again, they're make they've made a game just like all their other games, where you the gen, people genuinely are finding the character character or class or whatever that speaks to them directly and your paladin thing is working for you i really don't like playing that deck but see how cool that is you've got mm-hmm. a deck that works for you i love the hunter deck it's funny i tend to lean toward the same kind of archetypes that i do in mmos or other rpgs right. i like ranged i like magic i'm not really a healer i don't care about tanking like, i just love when my health is down to like 10 mm-hmm. And I bring my health back up to 30. And I know they're just going, ah! Yeah, it's a great feeling, right? That's <laughs> honestly well, why. Well, because like you can it. chip away at that over time, or you've got some crazy cards that'll just suddenly, I, yeah. Yeah, I can be strategic in letting certain cards stay on the on the, uh, on the the board yeah. Yeah. because I know I can just heal myself. And I can, so I go for more of the hit them hard, fast mm-hmm. kind of approach yeah we should all so. be playing why aren't we playing we should play oh uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. let's play right now hanging up right <laughs> now to say. let's play right now come on it's really well done people should download it if you haven't you're dumb that. last week i talked about bro force for just a bit because i had barely played it bro uh, force. i've since put up a video and i've since played a ton of it and this is my Pretty new cool. this is this year's rogue legacy for me that's how much right. i like it now it's not nearly as deep on the back end as rogue legacy as far as upgrades unlocks and all that that's it's nowhere near that I think it makes up for that, though, with multiplayer, online play with other people, uh, couch play where, you know, more controllers, one computer kind of thing. If this thing does not end up on PS4s, Xbox Ones, and Vitas, and anywhere else it can fit, then it's a, sh- it's a crying shame because it's such fun, so much fun to play this game. I'm really hooked on it. It's great. And it's way more of a puzzle game than I thought. It's a right, lot right. less of kind of... Because here's the deal. You start out, usually you'll be... okay. Let me break this down the best way I know how. You start out as usually like down. Rambo dude or someone like that. Little pixelated Rambo man. He's Rambo man. I think they even call him Rambro man. Is it not Contra? Where's, where's Ibit when you need him? It's not Contra. In fact, it is so not Contra. I mean, there's there's nods to Contra in terms of its kind of vibrato, murica kind of thing it's doing. But right. it's definitely not that. So So you'll start with him. You start killing guys. You've only got one life. If that guy gets killed, you're dead. One hit and you're out, out by the way. Um, so you want to be real careful with that first guy. But your job on the level is to unlock checkpoints, but also to unlock 
these cages where there are um, dudes who have been, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, they're uh, captives uh, from your side are in these cages. Kill all the for dudes around them, blow up the cage, save the guy. That gives you another life for the level that you're on. So now I've got two lives. And when I go save him, I turn into whoever he was, and he's now another random dude. He might have a shotgun. He may have grenades. He may have a totally different weapon set. I unlock Robo Cop. He, he looks he looks just like RoboCop. His gun comes out of his leg and he shoots just the same kind of gun. His special That's not moves, his gun. His special move is like this cool like I don't even know like thing that you remember from the movie, but I don't know what you call it. Where he spins he No, it's where the it's like a big big crosshair comes out of the sky and kind of zeroes in on a dude and then causes a oh, big hole cool. there. Um so he comes out and does it. I've got Indiana Brones. Nice. <laughs> so everybody's so like really they're really buying into this whole bro thing. Right yeah, now. the bro name is in all of these unlocks. Uh, who's that? Who? Um, uh, who's the? Oh, gosh, I can't think real quick here. Who's the movie? What's the movie that just came out with uh, Dr. McCoy in it? That's a remake of the, Star Trek? the character, the British comic book guy. What's wrong with me? The, the Judge the Dredd. Comic? Judge Dredd. Oh, Judge Dredd. So he's called like Bro <laughs> Dredd or something. Anyway, I've got him unlocked. Jed Bro. Jed Bro. So I got all these crazy things unlocked, plus just regular kind of characters unlocked. And every time you die, you have to be a different character. Every time you save a dude, you're a different character. But every time you save a dude, you get another life to spend. And the levels get harder and harder. Therefore, it's better to have more and more lives because you got to start over if you lose them all. Uh, they get really crazy. There's all kinds of stuff like tanks and helicopters you got to fight. But you're kind of more slowly and methodically working your way through these levels. It is not just simply... In fact, you know what? The biggest comparison I could say is like, if you could take Contra and then take kind of the pacing and the carefulness of Spelunky, mix those two together, that's kind of what this is. It's great, dude. It's so good. That's bro awesome. I can't say enough about it. Really love it. People should buy it. It's totally worth for uh, 15 bucks. Bro Force. 15 bucks? On sale now. 14.99. yeah. 14.99. Worth right. it, dude. Worth it. One month of Spotify is all you'd pay for that or whatever. What? How, <laughs> what do you got? The premium no, deluxe edition I do the, of Spotify? I found out today that both, is it both? I don't know if it's both, but like RDO, who I, I like better, right, right, has, right. if you buy the app or if you buy it with the in app purchase from your phone, it wants right. to charge you $14.95 a month. If you right. go get it on their site and then you just use it the same way through the phone, it's only nine ninety nine, and it's that's their way of like, well, Apple's going to take their thirty percent, so here's Apple's thirty yeah. percent. I don't have a problem with that. I just didn't know it at first, so I was like, well, how are you guys doing this little racket with two different prices? And then I figured it out. But anyway, right. my point is, fourteen bucks later, and you got a hell of a game in your possession, and it's got great sense of humor. I swear they're using Homer Simpson yell, uh, scream sounds <laughs> when these guys die. It's so fun. I just love it. I love that little there's, game. There's a little bit of is, is this kind of a is this an indie game or is this very kind of, very indie? Yeah. Very indie. Yeah. You know, it's kind of, I, I love these games, but sometimes I feel like they, every once in a while, they sneak in a, a you know, a, a couple of audio clips that aren't licensed. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. I wonder. Aren't licensed I, at all. I, under, I honestly wonder about this one because it sounds just like Homer when he does that, ah! or that, ah! I can't right, do it. Right. But his big pie pitch scream he does sometimes. That was, that was pretty good. It wasn't very good at all. Come on. That admit was, it. It wasn't, wasn't bad. I mean, I recommend it. Go get it. Broforce. Brian, tell me about Heldrick. The Legend of the Shoemaker. This sounds awful. What is this? <laughs> Heldrick, The Legend of the Shoemaker. Demo edition. So I, I, I did download the demo. Oh, of this. all right. I, I was, demo. Got yeah, it. I was kind of, I was going, I was going cheap this week. Mm -hmm. uh, I really didn't have a lot of uh, gaming money this week. So I decided to play a couple of demos. Heldrick was one of them. Legend of the Shoemaker. You start out as Heldrick, who's a humble village child. You don't child. say. Right. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, you're you not play in the, Heldrick? You're not, in the, you're not in the town of Heldrick, which is what I thought it was. Yeah. But uh, but no, you're actually the dude. And you're uh, you start out and you're 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 chopping guys up in the village. They're just wooden people. So you do that for a while and hope that the king will notice you. I don't Wait, know. Wait, they're how wooden people? Your, did you say wooden people? Yeah, you just just little wooden dolls. Is it he's like in, he's out. Pinocchio the shoemaker or I don't know. Oh, I Pinocchio saw the shoemaker. I saw oh. screenshots of this. <laughs> Like well, the game is good. Kind of yeah, better. Stuff. Yeah, this is this is no. This is the shoemaker has very little to do with it, other than you have humble beginnings. Because that's what I was excited about. I was like, oh, shoemaker, this is going to kind of all fit in. No, you're pretty much just a little. You're you're. A, they're trying to set up the story for the reason why oh. you're the only. You're the only warrior in this town. This is the one that I hate the description of. So on Steam, I'm so glad you're talking about right, this. Right. 
On Steam, it's described as combination action RPG, tower defense, and city building. That whole paragraph made me want to not play it ever. And when I saw it, I was like, well, I got to play this because Scott would hate it. Yeah. Just uh, just for the the tower defense. And plus, I don't like mashups like this. They don't always work for me. That's you know all. what though? I'm I'm not gonna say too much bad about it because it was actually rather it it was simple and almost charming in this horribleness. I mean, it, it was. It kind of reminds me of another game. Really to, good sell right. you got going right. on there. <laughs> no, I'm serious. You ever had a game? It's kind of like you don't know why you really like it, and the graphics aren't that great, and there's yeah. nothing really all that good about it. But it just seems to work, and you seem to. Next thing you know, you look up and you've spent two hours on a freaking demo, and you're like, how the crap did I do that? Mm. The city building is very limited. I mean, you pretty much go into build mode, and you have an option for either a small uh, plat or a large plat or a medium plat, and you kind of just kind of go and you you click on it, and you can choose from several little you know several different buildings and eat you know there's a little quest that you have to do, but it's all laid out before you start, and you got like two minutes in between between each round before uh, your tower defense kicks in and you have these orcs that show up. Oh, that sounds awful to me. It's, it's, uh, it's, I don't know. It's simple Just, enough. It's okay. It's you can say fun. it's awful. I can't wait. It's not I awful. can't wait. I can't do games where I have to wait for a bunch of things to attack me. I hate that so much. It's not awful. It is not awful. Play it. If It's just the demo. I mean, I don't know if I'll, it's nine bucks, I think, when they sell it, but I don't know. It's, early early it's access or list. something, is it? Is it early yeah, access? Yeah, I, so. okay. I think it's early access. All right, and it's it's okay. It's fun. Okay, I've I've played a lot worse. Oh, really? The story's kind of the story's kind of goofy, but hey, what you gonna do? All right, so <laughs> after that, I I, I I noticed that I had uh I had Resident Evil Revelations loaded up for some reason on my PC. Is so that I was the like, shooter mm-hmm. action one, the squad shooter yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, and it's, it 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 goes through uh Jill's storyline. Jill and it's just Jill. Yeah. I know you know, this, is, this was released like 2012, 2013, so it's not super new, but it was still new enough that it was fun. And, you know, I've complained in the past about Resident Evil's uh, controller. Yeah. I can't stand the controller yeah. because the, the way where everything controls, it just it always seems very counterintuitive. Jill! This, uh-huh. this, this, this seemed okay. I kind of, it, it didn't bother me too much on how I was aiming and how I was scanning stuff. I had a little scanner. I had to go around and scan things. And Does it feel like a Resident <laughs> Evil game, though? Or does it feel like uh, that it world, like but you're crammed into a sh- just a third-person shooter? Pretty much. Mm. You mean, it's not in, I want to say it's kind of light on the story, but it's, eh, it's okay. It's all right. It's Once not, again, another yeah. another game that I would probably play. And if I had it, and if it went, if it went on sale for nine bucks, I'd probably get it. Mm. I played it. I played my played through the whole demo. That doesn't always even happen. No. A lot of times when I play a demo, I'm like, you can't even play the demo. <laughs> can't get through this entire demo. I like this. Uh, Brian's so bringing the demo graphic to the show. I'm telling you. That's right. Yeah. The demo and finally, demo I, finally uh, around. I think it was Wednesday. Amazon had this. You know, shot me out of the email and said, "Hey, Brian." I'm like, "Hey, Amazon, how you doing?" Mm. And they said. Hey, we got a game, super cheap. And I'm like, how cheap? And they said, 79 cents. I said, you got my interest. Sold. That seems like a good deal. (laughs) Right. So I went over and picked up Legendary, uh, that video game all the way back from 2009. First person shooter. Uh, Legendary. Can't think of it. Legendary. It's kind of neat. You got uh, the story is actually kind of fun. It kind of reminds me of (sighs) what's that stupid game? (laughs) Not not the Bioshock game, but it's still kind of that same idea where you kind of walk around and you get plasmids and that kind of stuff. You instead you're collecting this other resource. I forget what it's called. I don't know. Uh, plasmids is Bioshock, but well, that's what I said. What I say? What I say? You said Bioshock. You said like Bioshock. Yeah, Bioshock. Yeah. 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 So anyway, yeah, I'm looking yeah, at a screen shield here. A screenshot. It looks. Uh, screenshot. It looks okay. It's good. It's fun. It's fun. I, the story is actually kind of fun. It's kind of it's kind of all over the place. It's this Pandora's box, and if you know the history of Pandora's box, it doesn't really follow that. But instead, it says inside Pandora's box of these mythical creatures like griffins and and these roly poly lava fire things. But basically, they mashed up a whole bunch of different myths, and they and they brought these these monsters into this game. And so you're a thief, and you're trying to. Uh, and don't worry, there's no stealth. No stealth at all. Good. The only thing, the only reason to be, even be a thief is a, is to progress the storyline so that you can be in there and get stabbed by the stupid Pandora's box. Spoiler alert! Happens really early on, 
and uh, and then you go through uh, New How York City. How old is this game again? <laughs> I don't 2009. Think you're, yeah, I don't think you're doing any spoilers. Yeah, I'm not, not doing any spoilers. Even None if you were, I don't think there are anybody out there worried about you spoiling if Legendary. You, if you if you wasted your 79 cents on Amazon, <laughs> I'm sorry I spoiled it for you. But anyway, yeah, so you go. It, it's it had fun for a game that's from 2009. This, this is actually a kind of a gem. Hmm. I'm kind of surprised, but I do get annoyed with going around uh, the city. And one of the things you have to do, like, constantly is uh, pick locks, which I guess goes into the, the whole story of, of why you're a thief. But uh, you, you basically have to stand there and hold E and wait while the little wires move around. Mm-hmm. And they go. <laughs> and then the door opens up. And you're like, do we really have to do this every stinking time? I'm not a big fan every of those things. Time! Yeah. But uh, other than that, it's not bad for 79 cents. But that's what I've been playing this week. Demos and 79 cent games. It was spent a whole whopping 79 cents this week. That's so. crazy how low that, how cheap that is. It almost seems like it's, it's cheap, too cheap to the point that it makes the game look real bad. You know what I mean? I don't mean? even understand. It's like, is is it was like, uh, oh, I just got the code. The code was in, I think it was like eight gigs worth of data to download. And I'm like, somebody's got to be losing out serving me eight gigs worth of data for 79 cents. Yeah, right? <laughs> Exactly. But, uh, All right. Well, there you go. That's what you've been doing. That's what I've been doing. Uh, I got a free game for you, Brian. Oh, give him You one. got a free game for me? That's better mm-hmm. than 79 cents even, Brian. I mean, I'm going to have another cheap week. Yeah. Are either of you <laughs> fans of Family Guy? Uh, yes, I am. I am a fan sometimes. I get a little worn okay. out on the, the yeah. that particular sense of humor, but I, I it's okay. That. It's all right. Um, they what? recently came out with an iOS game. All right. Oh, yeah. Yes. The one that got panned by everybody. Nobody likes that game. I played it. It's not that bad. Well, the, 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 well this, this is like the it's, whole it's week. It's buggy. Of, it's it's I mean, not it just that was, bad. It's, it's buggy, but it's it's called Family Guy, like something stuff or something. I can't remember. Something stuff I'm gonna or find something. It. Something to do with stuff. Here it is. Family Guy, the, the, quest, the, the quest, quest for, for stuff. stuff yeah. uh, and they gave, so a, a site that I rely on a lot for good reviews and stuff is toucharcade.com. And they're oh, great. Yeah, well, touch Those guys are great, and they've got a list. They've got a review for it uh, for this free game, Family Guy: The Quest for Stuff. They are pr- usually pretty lavish with their reviews, very positive, even for stuff that maybe doesn't deserve it so much. But this one, two out of five, did not like it. What? That's even I below average. Launch, yeah. I would like to know when they reviewed it because at launch, this thing has had a lot of problems. So. I've been playing it recently, and each of the characters, if you can see, there's my there's my town. It's just like very it's like, similar. It's to like the, tapped out. Yeah. It's, it's tapped out. Like, but to say you got tapped out of there, it, <laughs> but it is different because see, there's there's Peter. He's spooning with the quagmire, Peter. Peter. <laughs> and each one of the characters levels up individually, and they do different tasks. So like, uh, we have Bonnie here, and let's do let's make her chug a bottle of wine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's all it is. That, that's so, so Nicole. And you, yeah. <laughs> so I think Nicole. this would be perfect for you, Brian. You I'm, I'm like getting it, it now. Is right. it, do I have a code or is it just I just? No, is it's free? free. It's absolutely okay. free. Just download it. Like I said, the social, <laughs> there is a social where you can visit towns similar to, to Simps, uh, Simpsons Tapped Out, but it's un, it's enabled, it's disabled right now because I think they're having problems with it. I think that's what was causing a lot of the problems with the game itself. So they just kind of killed the the social aspect of it. Yeah. Kind of so, think about the Family Guy. Silly, whatever. Yeah. You know, there's this one thing I don't like about the Family Guy. What's that? It is it is the the the, the major offender of thin line animation that I hate. Oh, you're not really. I don't know if that one's. I, I wouldn't call that one that thin, would you? It's not too. All thin. those lines are the same width all throughout the characters. It's just. <laughs> This, so is, this is a cartoonist freak. problem we're having here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with yeah. you on the. I, I like the shake up and the variable widths and the kind of uh, everything looks too much like fl- it was made in Flash sometimes. Right, right. I'm with you there. I get it. I see yeah. where you're coming from. I'm just from. collecting my coins while you guys talk. We'll have fun with that dumb game. <laughs> arts, arts. Uh, but, but two iOS games that you can download, Brian. Yeah. yeah. Hearthstone, right which is the yeah. no brainer, and this other one, which, meh, whatever, give or take. Just, you know. I'm, I'm glad play. you're taking the bullet, Nicole. You got to play these things so we know what's going on. Hey, and Brian yeah. too. Like I, I, I hate these. I used to be such a fan of the city buildy stuff, and now I just, 
it's so ruined for me the way that that's all been handled on mobile. I just I can't stand things that speed everything up. Wait for it to happen or speed it up with these gems you got to buy. That whole world just ticks me See, off. I don't worry about the gems because I, I guess because of my lifestyle right now, it's like I'm sitting on the couch watching Mateo. I click, click, click. And then I then you get out. I'll have to I'll have to go do something with Mateo and then I come back and well, that's, it's, it's perfect for you then. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. There's, no one's going to so, complain about that. That's good. Yeah. How about also, uh, there's also more Borderlands crap in your life? The final, <laughs> the absolute final mini DLC that with the so they came out with five mini DLCs in this Headhunter edition, and the last one, the son of Crawlman. I'm going to mispronounce this. <laughs> Crawlmanax. Crawlmanax. Right. Krolmernax. Sure, I'll take your word for it. Whatever. Uh, came out just this week, and I finished it. <laughs> in a, in one sitting, which is usually with these <laughs> DLCs, they're they're relatively so, small. The same way I do with my raviolis. That's right, that's right. So they're <laughs> so done then. This, this is it. They're not doing any more. You know what? That's what they say. But liars. I finished it, and one of the last quests that you do is you go around looking for assassins that are trying to kill you, and they end up. Not, uh, it's a spoiler, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever you're listening to a gaming but podcast, is, you, get a, you get a letter at the very end that says somebody's helping you, and you're like, "Who? Who is this?" So mm. I'm kind of lazy. I probably should just research it online. And find out what's <laughs> going on. Sure, what it means because it makes me think. Stuff. Was very leading. Like I'm going to see. I'm going to meet somebody else. Yeah. But I thought this was it. I have a perfect solution for that game. I'm going to tell you what it is right after this. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, look what it is. Or look who it is. It's not a, he's not a what, he's a who. Uh, Casey's on the line. Hi, hi, Casey Banta. What's going on? Who or what? I'll accept either. Who or what are you? <laughs> Casey, it's good to have you back. We weren't. Uh, we had a weird schedule last week, so we didn't have you on, but uh, we missed you horribly. And, and I uh, apologize for that. Oh, you're, don't apologize. We're the ones jacking the schedule around. Hey, don't you, you worry. You didn't wait around for 24 hours? I mean, come on. Oh, man. <laughs> So uh, what do you got this week? You got trivia, the game trivia. That's what he does. Comes on here and asks us, challenges us. We see how we do. And I don't remember what game or who picked it. Uh, let's see. I think you picked it, Scott. It and Astral. I think the game was Hexen. Okay. Hexen is the game. Oh, yeah. Hexen, the old uh, Doom engine thing I used to love. Yeah. Hexen. Hexen was great. Hexen. Hexen and Heretic were the two. Those were those two games that were just amazing. Anyway, go great. for it. Go for it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Um, we're, I'm gonna I'm gonna set this up for you here. All right, set it up. All right, up. the three of you are standing within a dungeon that is riddled with deadly traps. All right, mm -hmm. there are four D and D. Kinda. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Just <laughs> like that. Keep Sorry. going. Casey's there our are, DM. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Here we go. There are four chambers that stand between you and freedom. Okay. To advance to the next chamber, you must pass the following trials. The wrong move will bring your grisly demise. Right. But if even one of you escape, salvation will be granted to your comrades, and you shall revel in victory together. Okay. Screw you, Scott. All right. That's so, okay. Brian's, here we go. In the that's how Brian rolls. <laughs> In the first chamber, you have to choose one of the three playable classes in Hexen. Of these four choices, each may only be selected by one of you. Okay. So yes. your four choices are fighter, thief, Frank. cleric, and mage. Mm. Nicole, uh, first. Nicole's first. I just pick one? Yeah. The one you think <laughs> is in it. No, pick two. Yes, pick one. <laughs> uh, mage. Nicole's going to come get me. All right. All right. Brian, pick a class. Fire. Okay. <laughs> is there and a fire Scott. class? Yes. Fighter. Oh, all right. Uh, cleric. 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 Okay. Yeah. The three playable classes in Hexen are fighter, cleric, yeah. and mage. Yay! So all three of you advance to all the right. second chamber. All right. Nicely done. I felt good You're about that from the beginning. Good. All right. Okay. Here we go. In the next chamber, there's a pedestal in the middle with four keys arranged neatly in a row. Running up to shape. <laughs> Three of them are the keys needed to solve the puzzle in the shadow wood during Act Two. Choose one of these keys each. All right. They are the horn key, the swamp key, the cave key, and the sand key. 
this time Brian chooses the first one. Horn E key. The horn, horn key. key. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Scott, pick a key. Swamp key. Okay. And Nicole, you get to choose. I was going to pick key. cave key. Cave key. Monkey. Cave key is a pretty good idea. All right. The three keys that you use in the Shadow Wood are the horn key, the swamp yeah. key, and the cave key. Yeah. You all chose good keys. Yeah. Nicely done. This is feel, I'm feeling good about our chances here. You're all like still should, alive. Go buy a lottery ticket. Yeah. <laughs> I remember these. Boop, 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 boop. You're moving into the third boop. chamber now. Yeah. Crude drawings of four terrifying beasts <laughs> adorn the walls in this chamber. Right. You quickly woman. realize that three of them represent the chapels you must traverse during Act 3. All right. Touch your hand to one of the correct glyphs. All right. And All right, the four, you would be the four... a fun DM, by the way. You're doing this good. <laughs> Thank you. Like Here we it. go. The four glyphs are the Chimera glyph, Griffin glyph, Wolf Glyph and Dragon Glyph. Uh, Brian, you get to pick the first one. Gryffindor. Okay. I'm picking Gryffindor. Gryffindor. <laughs> All right, Scott, go ahead and pick oh, a no, glyph. No, it's my turn. It's my turn. Hey, All it's right. Turn. Go ahead, I'll, we'll Nicole. let Nicole pick a glyph. Chimera. Okay. Or Chimera, and Scott, even. pick a glyph. Uh, wolf. Wolf. All right. The three cl correct glyphs are Gryffin, Wolf, <laughs> And dragon. Oh, Sorry, I knew it too. You have, dissolved, you have dissolved into a puddle of goo. Oh no! So are we just leaving our goo there? Are we going to properly bury it, or is that you it? Have no time to do anything with Nicole's goo. You okay. have to move on to the final <laughs> chamber. All right. I don't like how any of that sounds. I pick but yes. up a little bit of Nicole's goo and put it in my pocket. All right, good. You're you're <laughs> lock it because you're a <laughs> secretive little thief, man. Brian, you now have a pocket full of Nicole goo. <laughs> Here we go. The final door to freedom stands before you. There's a single lock on the door and an inscription the, above the keyhole that reads, Only the key from the castle of grief shall this passage open. Three pegs hang, are hanging, I mean, three keys are hanging from pegs nearby on the wall. Which shall you choose? <laughs> I didn't. I don't remember this part, but okay. <laughs> All right. So there are three keys hanging on the wall. There's an axe key, a spear key, and a sword key. Axe key, spear key, sword key. Yes. Okay. Scott, yes. you can pick first. Spear key. All right. And of the two keys, Brian, go ahead and pick one. Sword. Sword. Sword and spear. All right, it's our so new buddy Scott, cop movie we're making. Rise sports. <laughs> Scott, you insert the spear key, and all of a sudden, all the skin is peeled away from your body, and you're yeah, oh, man. Oh, we're good together. I don't remember this part. <laughs> can Crap. I can I splash can I splash uh, Scott with my Nicole goo? Only if your sword is <laughs> right. Is the sword right? <laughs> <laughs> Brian, your goo has no effect on Scott's. No! <laughs> so Brian steps up with his sword key. Mm -hmm. He cautiously inserts it into the keyhole, and he is reduced to a pile of dust. I knew it. Oh, I knew it. Goo and dust. That's the other one. Make up goo snowman from that. What was the third one? I already forgot what the third one is. The axe. axe key. Oh, the axe key. I don't know why that didn't sound right. Damn it. Uh, that I'm is so my sorry. favorite new way to play this. That was awesome. <laughs> That is really, really fun. Uh, but nobody won, so that kind of sucks. Casey wins. Close. Yeah, Casey wins. Casey won. All right, well then, who picks the next game? Who's the next picker? Um, I'll let Brian and Nicole decide which one gets to pick the next game. Fight. fight. I'll Round throw one, out fight. a game. All right. and how about Brian throws out a game and I throw out a game and you pick from the two? Okay. All right. Have we done God of War yet? No. First one? No. Yeah, why not? Nope, let's do that. Brian? What's yours? And then I'll fight. Uh, uh, I'm going to go with um, World of Pac Man. Uh, ooh. Pac Man World. Pac, Pac Man World. Pac World or Pac Land, isn't it? Pac Land. Pac is it Pac Land? Pac I think we go with Nicole's because he can't remember the name of the Pac Man <laughs> game he wants to do. I can see the game in my head. Yeah. I'm sure you can. <laughs> All right. We'll go with PlayStation God of War, I guess. All right. God of War, first game. The first God of War released 19. Nine, no, no. Sorry. 2002, I think. I want to say. Uh, that'd be great. I would be a lot of that would be fun to, to do stuff with that game. So Casey, that's your goal. All if right. you want to listen to Casey's cool music uh, thing, you can listen to the end of the show. That'll be here coming up soon. 
And uh, Casey is also on Twitter at Casey Banta. Casey, thanks, man. Have a good day. Thanks, guys. See you later. I'm going to hang up on you. There you go. See you, that was That was fun. Yeah, that was fun. I enjoyed that more than I should I have. I enjoy it. Okay, Nicole, here was my idea for mm. Borderlands. Okay. Because Borderlands essentially lifted its, its uh, RPG systems off of Diablo anyway. I think what they ought to do... A mashup? <laughs> well, they should implement... They should implement essentially the equivalent to adventure mode in Diablo into a game like that because you would extend the life of that game really infinitely. Even let's say even further than it's already been extended because that game has been how no, long? No, it's a big game. But what I'm saying is, if you're like Nicole and you've done everything you can do, imagine going to a hub. But I can go to. But see, I'm. You go through on true Vault Hunter mode and you play the game through again and everything. Yeah, but then you got to do all the story again. But that's it's the old Diablo way. I'm yeah. saying. With the way the new adventure mode works, you would go to a hub space, some kind of city, and in there would be a bunch of people, and you'd walk in there and go, all right, well, what quests are available to me today? And then you would uh, fast travel to these five places, in, you know, in, in succession, go to the first place. Mm -hmm. The first job, clear all the stuff out and clear mad master robot gym job or whatever. And you do all of that, get a ton of loot, get a ton of gold, go back or money, whatever it is, go back and... Same deal. Go do the next one, do the next one. You do all five, you get a major reward at the end, and then you move on to the next city hub. That's basically adventure mode, and that would extend the life, the hell out of the life of that game. Because I'd you wouldn't have it. to you wouldn't have to play the stupid uh, the story. Not stupid, but you don't have to play the story again. You can actually go out and do new stuff, yeah. random stuff, and the loot system in that game is basically Diablo's anyway. It's all just like, you know, numbers and generators and everything else. So why the heck not? I'd play the crap out of that. I'm telling you, it's, the, it's a revelation. Okay. That mode is a revelation. Right. Talk to Anthony Birch. Maybe he'll, you know, he's one of the head writers. Maybe okay. he'll uh, do something for All you. Right. I'm on it. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else we got here? Let's, uh, oh, did you, yeah, you're done. You did. You did Hearthstone. Yeah, yeah. Hearthstone. And Hearthstone. Bioshock. Yeah, Bioshock. That's still happening. Whatever. Headlines. Need food badly. I need food. Uh, before we do that. We're gonna, there's Dan. I was wondering if we were going to see his thing, and there it is. And I got music, and there it is right here. There it is. Okay, I got it going. Dan, Dan, Dan. What's going on, Dan? What, what is up, Scott, Nicole, Dunaway? How you guys doing this week? Good, man. Good Coming on the show, talking board games and tabletop. Heck yeah. Did you go to I'm PAX really East? Or this week you, did you go to PAX? I can't remember. No, were. I didn't go to PAX. I had some buddies up there in PAX that were feeding me some board game info. There was a lot of uh, good unpub stuff going on. Yeah, I know. Um, I'd heard that there was a whole bunch of cool crap nobody had heard of, or you know, some things that were getting tested on the floor and stuff, which is all exciting. Yeah, it's uh, real good. A bunch of my, you know, guys from uh, Dice Hate Me and uh, in the Unpub Network, they uh, they go to a lot of different cons, and we and usually at night at the cons we'll do, do what's called the uh, the Unpub area over by uh, you know just we have this big blue pool noodle that will stick up, and we'll just play unpublished <laughs> games there, and people will just test them. It's it's a it sounds really silly, but when you see a blue pool pool noodle about ten feet up in the air, you know where to go. I found a pool <laughs> a pool noodle, which is hard to say. I found one of those once in a pool, public pool, and it had a hot dog jammed in it. Had because nice. they had a little hole at the end, a very yeah. small hole, and somebody had jammed a hot dog into that thing, and it was Buns disgusting. Buns and all, or just the wiener? just the wiener, which you don't realize is that really wasn't a hot dog. It's just the tip, Brian. Just the tip. <laughs> uh, well, it's great to have you on, dude. What is on your mind today about tabletop? What can we tell the fine people about? Well, we've actually got a real board game this week. We've been dabbling in kind of filler games and card games, but this week we've got an actual board game. I'm going to give you a classic that was remade recently uh, by Stronghold Games, one of the best. Uh, game companies out right now. It's a smaller company. It's just one dude that's basically running it, but he's the really cool guy, Stephen Bonacore. It's a remake of an old 80s game called Survive Escape from Atlantis. Oh, all right. Oh, right. Now, it's uh, basically, it's kind of like Forbidden Island where you're on an island and it's sinking. However, this is a big sprawling game where you're actually, the first part of the game, you are set you set up the board uh, and you've got basically mountain tiles, jungle tiles, and sand tiles, and then everybody puts out their meeples out there. Now, all your meeples have numbers from one to six on the bottom, and then it it just starts. So on every turn, you're going to uh, move you're going to move your tokens. You're going to, you get to move th uh, three guys out there. There's boats out there, or you can swim. But you got to watch out for there's a, a sea serpent, 
some uh, sharks and also whales out there. All right. So Aww. you're going to move your guys. You can get on a boat, and other people can get on a boat with you, but depending on who's got the most people. I'm on getting boat, on a boat. <laughs> I'm on a boat. <laughs> So it's, it is a little bit of cooperative. So if me, Nicole, and Brian are on a boat, we have to kind of talk about where we want to go because the person whose turn it is, you gotta you kind of share where the boat's going. But yeah. let's just say Dunaway has two guys on there, and, and Spag only has one. You know, there he uh, Dunaway gets to move it. But you and me, Scott, we can move a whale. You basically at the end of your turn, you roll a die, and it tells you whether you move a serpent, a sea serpent, a whale, or a shark. Now, if you move a whale, it, it can tip over that boat and it's gone. Oh, uh, I like that idea. And a sea serpent can basically eat the boat and the people. Yeah. And a shark just eats people if they're the not boat. in a boat. <laughs> I'm not getting on the boat. <laughs> now, now the object is to get boat. your people. You're going to get your people to these. There's four islands basically in each corner. So you're trying to get uh, uh -huh. your your meeples to the corners, and you're trying to get the no, the highest number of people up to each corner. Yeah. But at the end of your turn, uh, right after that, you have to pick a tile off of the island and you flip it over and it's either going to have something you can hold on to like uh, maybe a, it kind of gives you a, a free pass or helps you swim better or it can just spawn more sharks or okay. you have it tells you to move a shark or the sea serpent so it's really has that nice uh cutthroat angle to it right does uh, it ever spawn the uh you know the cast of lost does that ever happen <laughs> every time no but it does spawn diablo sometimes oh no. gosh well then i'm in and it's epic loot after that. Good. All purples and, uh, <laughs> I guess there's no purples. But, uh, yeah, all yellows and oranges. That sounds good to me. But, so now the cool thing is, I talked to the, I was telling you, Stephen Bonacore, the owner of Stronghold Games. He's, a, you know, you don't see this in video gaming. He's one of these guys where after he's done using a, uh, you know, running his booth at all these cons, he'll, he'll just game with people at night. Oh, that's just awesome. Just hang out in the board game room. Now, I actually contacted him. And if you go to the strongholdgames.com and you use the code TFS. Yeah. You can save thirty percent off of your whole order what? for the next month. Yeah. Thirty, your, your whole Forget order. That. That's crazy. Strongholdgames.com. Yep, I'm it's uh, right now. it's and they've got some really really good games. They've got some real light games, some good card games that I play uh, with the family. Uh, and St Survive is a great family game or a good cutthroat game just for game night. And uh, they've got some other heavier games too. Uh, CO2 is a real good game. Space Cadets is a, is an excellent game. But we'll get into some of those another time. But yeah. those are um, it's it's a great game. I. If you allow me, Scott, I've got two um, board game apps that are on sale this weekend. Yeah, of course. Last week, we mentioned the uh, Penny Arcade Gamers vs. Evil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, that was right. a deck building game. 99 cents this weekend. What? Nice. That's and, a hell of a deal. And my other, pretty much my favorite app, I've played over 1,000 online games of this, uh, Ascension Chronicles of the God Slayer is free this weekend. So even if you don't have time to get into it to do the tutorial, just download it and play it later. Okay. Just get it now while it's cheap is what you're saying. Yeah. It's, Tell me. And it's amazing. Give game. me that code again. Strongholdgames.com and the code for 30% off again. TFS. Like TFS. Final score. Okay. I just yep. want to make sure people hear it and do it. That's an amazing deal. Wow, dude. Wow. That's great. Thank you for so bringing that to us. That's a nice Easter treat for you guys. Uh, where should people go to follow you online and hear more about great board gaming opportunities? You can go to uh, check me out on Twitter at Geek Jock Blog. And if you want to check out um, the Geek All Stars podcast, we've got uh, we do we talk pretty much all board games uh, all the time. That sounds awesome, man. Well, thanks. Stay out of what trouble was, and go board game your the, life away. What? What was the app again? The the, the free app. Oh, it was uh, the free one is called Ascension Chronicles Ascension. of the God Slayer. Okay. It's a it's a deck building game, but it's super super fun. It takes I'm a second to get into it. it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's awesome. Well, you'll love it. Well, once you it's get the great, hang. Yeah. It's a great potty game because you can play it in about you know five minutes uh, party <laughs> butt rings what oh gosh all right i'll talk Happy to you game. soon dan thanks. thanks dude guys happy easter we'll see you, you next time too. see ya oh yeah easter chocolate and stuff i'm love excited it. for easter i love easter okay how about now we cool. do we're gonna rip through these news stories in fact i'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna focus on the ones that matter here nintendo said no thanks to skylanders partnership they were gonna get an exclusive deal Good move, Nintendo. I didn't even play this. Oh, yeah, I did. I played it earlier. I played it, and then we brought Dan in. <laughs> right. Anyway, um, yeah, Nintendo screwed that up, I think. If they'd had an exclusive... Well, who knows? I think I think this would have been maybe a deal where Activision would have pulled out anyway because the Wii U has not performed to the level they would have needed for that game to do well. And I think it would have been a game seller. I think well, it, it, launched on, it would have launched on Wii because that's when it first came right, out. Right, right. Would that have been an? I don't know, man. That seems. Well, that's the one I bought. That's the bundle I bought, man. Because I waited. Look, I'm just saying it probably worked out best for them that they didn't get exclusive with Nintendo, given Nintendo's recent sales numbers. That's all. Right. I'm not. This is not a bash against Nintendo. Those are just raw numbers about what's not Nintendo. selling. So, 
Uh, speaking of selling, Sony is selling its entire stake in Square Enix, valued at around $47 million. It's not really very much in the large scheme of things, to be honest. That's not. And Square Enix is really just kind of fine, but eh, nothing really going on over there. I don't see why Sony would want to hang on to that any longer. So that's going away. Uh, it doesn't mean anything other than they're just not going to have you know, any yeah, kind they- of stake in the company anymore. Right, right. I think it's a good, good opportunity for Square Enix to pick up somebody who can kind of maybe give them a little boost. Maybe. Sometimes a, sometimes a change can help you. Yeah, that's all you need. A shower. You need a shower. Right. A little need. shower. Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition now out for Android. So all you Android folks who've been ticked that that version of the game hasn't been on your device. Now it is. And now you can wait another two years till you get the already out for everything else version of Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition, which sucks. I think that sucks for Android, you know? You got to wait for everything. Like freaking. Uh, well, they, they get some things first. Very rarely, though. Yeah. Name a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Na- yeah. Name one that really counts. Like Hearthstone, no way. Uh, tapped out, no way. You know why, right? You know why. I know why. And they don't like hearing this, but I know exactly why. Their market is fractured. Bad. And developers really hate bad. it. They hate it. I hate it. Ask a developer, and they'll tell you that. A guy yesterday on Twitter was like, when are these guys going to learn that Android is better and cheaper? I'm like, no, that isn't what anyone needs to realize. Apparently he's plant book guy. What they need to realize is that there is, is a fractured marketplace that's very difficult to develop for. And it's like it's like trying to, de- I don't know what to even compare it to. It's like saying, that's like, what if there were 300 different PS4s and right. Sony right. had to make the same game for all of them and they all had different specs, different screens, different resolutions, different capabilities, different CPUs. Like, it, it's a mess. Well, Think different about Netflix and all the different devices. So you, they have to create a, a version of that on PS4, PS3, Fire TV. Now add it into the Android market, and now they have to make sure it's the same across all of them. Yeah, so, and, and just, then games that have any kind of cross-platform capability, or just, it just you just run yourself into the ground. It's hard. Yeah. That will, it, will, it will get better. Things will get yeah. better, but it's not there yet. And people need to quit acting like it's a war between Apple and Android. This is just a war between which which is the thing that's going to make you the money and the thing that you're going to be able to develop for and not have it be a giant headache. That's what this is. So be glad you got Baldur's Gate. Two's coming, I'm sure, at some point. It's already out on everything else. Shit, your Android hole. Uh, Silent Hill. <laughs> Ah, screw that. Who cares about that? That's just a remake. Yeah. Uh, Gold Rush. I, I put this one in. Gold Rush Era Empire Builder 1849 strikes pay dirt on May 8th. On May 8th, on PC, Mac, app, iPad, and Android tablets. So there's one. There's your day one on Android. Uh, on May 8th, you get this new sim. It's basically Sim City, but set in the Gold Rush of the 1800s. And I am all in on whatever the hell this is. It looks awesome. And there's going to be this big scenario thing as well as like endless sandbox mode. You got right. me, man. You got me. Just suck me in. That's my kind of city building game. Screw I tapped out. Busy. This is it. I'm, I may be busy playing Roller Tycoon 4. Roller Coaster Tycoon 4 is coming out. That's right. I like Roller Tycoon. Straight, straight Roller Tycoon. Yeah, I think Roller Tycoon would be great. Um, all right, so there's that. Uh, let's move on to a contest. Nicole's going to start yeah. it and uh, start giving it away here. What do we got? What is this? Yeah, so I'm going to give a, a bunch of different games away uh, to the chat room mm. who's in there listening to my voice. Yay. So <laughs> if you want any of these games, just uh, send me a, a private message in the chat room. I'm Nicole Spag in the chat room. Yeah, you are. Uh, our, first, <laughs> our first game uh, is a set of games from John, a.k.a. Uh, ATM 57. Again, he gave us 150 games to give away. Yeah, we got And you're load. probably going to be thanking him for, for a while some. here. Mm-hmm. So the first set of games from, from John include, this is a pack, Braid, Cortex Commander, Machinarium, Osmosis, and Revenge of the Titans. Those so are that's all one. fine games. Yes. The next pack is Crayon Physics Deluxe, Cogs, VVVVVVV. I love Ooh. that game. That game's great. <laughs> Hammer Fight and... Hammer fight. Uh, and yet it moves. All right. And a few other ones. Uh, <laughs> and then and then a third one I have for you is Super Meat Boy, Lone Survivor, Ask again. and Braid. Oh, well, fine. Ask That's again. a great pack right there. So there's three sets of games right there. I also have um, three copies. Thank you, uh, Scott, for sending these to me from... <laughs> Uh, this comes from Siphon Killer mm-hmm. 2021. Mm-hmm. Gave us three copies of Dead Island Epidemic. It's the oh. beta key for those. So if you are interested in playing Dead Fine. Island Epidemic, 
Send me a private message. Brian's been playing that. I've been playing, I've been playing it. It is awesome. Is it? It is awesome. It's I've heard totally uh, MOBA people it. do not like it, though. So what are they aiming that's for there? MOBA people. Well, that's supposed to be a MOBA, though. I mean, that's... Yeah, it's MOBA light. It's like MOBA arcade. Oh, all right. Well, I mean, in, in, in truth, uh, Heroes of the Swarm is basically MOBA light anyway. I mean, right. I, you know, whatever. They're aiming for something different. Maybe that's what they're doing. So that's fine. <laughs> Everybody wants the Super Meat Boy pack. Uh, of course they <laughs> do. See, <laughs> boy, give me Meat Boy. Meat Ralph. Boy. Well, Ralph gets nothing. <laughs> Riv Ralph nothing. Uh, Ralph is awesome, but also is uh, so is all, uh, old school. That's what we're going to do now. We're talking about Comics Zone, an old video game from 1995 for the Sega Genesis. I played this. This was Capcom, was it not? I believe so. I'm looking around. Was it a free thing, Capcom? It. Um, I, I, no, but I think it was kind of a Capcom thing. And it was a weird thing because at the time, it was all Street Fighter all the time. And right. this was so different from that that a lot of people didn't give it a chance. That was my memory of it. And I thought it was I, rad. Right. The, 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 the whole hype about it, of course, it, it was supposed to come out. And it got delayed and delayed. Everybody was super excited about it. By the time it came out, everybody was just kind of like, meh. Yeah. Whatever. And it was criticized for being too hard and short, which right. is... Uh, <laughs> too hard and short. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Danny DeVito always gets accused of being too hard and short. Right. Uh, let's see. Right. Music was composed by Howard Drosden, known, uh, known video game and film composer. Graphics are done mainly by comic artists. We don't know who. Uh, it was all about Joe Pencil. <laughs> yeah. That's the character. Joe yeah. Pencil. Joe Pencil's a pretty tough guy. It's an action platformer. They control Sketch. Oh, no, Sketch is the main dude. As he progresses through the panels of his comic book, hoping to reach the end, ba -ba -ba -ba, he fights dudes. There's uh, fighting, there's stuff, and here's Brian not playing it badly. It's somebody else playing it. Probably well. Uh, they play pretty good. One, two. Sega. Oh. Sega. Is that, what is that? That's the little music. Here we go. Oh, do you hear that Sega Genesis uh, sound oh, chip going? Yes, I do. Man, let's jump ahead. It's a really cool idea. It is a cool idea, and it looks cool, too, because it was totally different. Yeah. Because I'm not going to lie, a lot of stuff on the Sega Genesis kind of felt the same-ish. Yeah, it was a little samey, wasn't it? Right, yes. I think that looks neat, and people should check it out. Uh, available now, in stores now. Actually, I think you can get this on the... I want to say the Sega Steam Pack thing. It probably this is. This game is in there, I think. I could be wrong. And the Vita, there's a Vita thing that might be on there. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the 3DS has it in there, one of their packs. I can't remember. Anyway, Stupid. I have 3DS. not touched my handhelds in weeks. I need to get back to those. Me either. I haven't touched my 3DS in ever. I do, the, I do this, though. I have these periods of like long periods. where I'm not going to go near it. And then it's kind of like how I play WoW. It's like I just go crazy and then I need, I need a break, you know? That's how right. I'm with my handhelds right now. Anyway, there you go. Comic Zone. Check it out. That's it. We're done. That's the show. Un? That's what? it? Yeah, that's it. We're good. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Thank you at home. Nicole, how'd the giveaway go? We still doing it? We good? Nicole? Nicole is gone. Goodbye. Oh, she's muted. I mute myself because I'm all doing a lot of tippy-tapping. When I typing. think about you, so, I mute uh, myself. <laughs> that's probably not appropriate. Yeah, we got rid of all of the dead islands. I, I'm, I still have the braid pack. And I'm just going through who who responded to me oh, first. Well, so. congratulations to everyone congratulations. who won and is winning, because that's fantastic. Yeah. Brian, Brian, is there anything going on this week you would like people to know about? Comics Coast to Coast ah, or otherwise? Yes, Comics Coast to Coast is back. We talked last week with DaCosta. Did we talk about this last week? Uh, we remember. did a little bit. But no, we weren't yeah. here last. No, we did a show last week. It was last Saturday. Last Saturday, that's right. March of know. Robots had funded his Kickstarter project. Way to go, DaCosta. So he did that, and we had a, a producer show just yesterday, and we talked about some of that thin line animation crap that I hate. I hate yeah, it. you don't like that, do you? Pisses me off. Uh, I understand. I totally do. Nicole, what are you doing? Anything? Give it away, games. Give it away. <laughs> give it away. Give, give, it, away, give, give it, away it away now. now. Nice. <laughs> Ryan and Aaron the same uh, thing today. Not, you know, just playing a nerdtacular, trying to get stuff together for Dragon Con. Yeah. I'm in a planning mode right now. Good. So. You're good at those things, so I'm, I'm always happy to see you planning away. I don't know. Uh, I <laughs> uh, yeah, that is coming up. A reminder to yeah. folks at home, if you want to uh, participate and be there and meet us and hang out, 
Go to uh, nerdtacular.com and sign up now because there are tickets available and we are ready to roll. So let's mm -hmm. do this thing. Hoping to do some fun stuff with the gaming room because we have a whole area devoted to gaming. Mm -hmm. Tabletop so. and yeah, it's going to be great. Yes. Very much looking forward to that. Dan, Dan should be there, I believe. I, believe I hope that's so. The plan. Yeah, I think so. Um, do I have that right? I think that's right. <laughs> Anyway, if he's not, he should. Uh, that's going to do it for us. Thank you guys for being here. Email us at podcast at finalscoreshow.com. Score 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 score. Uh, we have that's an email and you can send it to us. Uh, site, the website to visit is finalscoreshow.com. On Twitter, TFS Show, Scott Johnson, The Brian Dunaway, Nicole Spag. That's going to do it for us. Thank you guys for being here. We'll be back next week with more video game talk right here on The Final Score. Bye. Bye now. Yeah. 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 That went yeah. good. Nice job, everyone. Yay. Good work. Good job, Nicole. All right. Here we go. Way, wave in the chat room said that All right, here his we first go. fallout, or his first fallout, first Steam purchase was Fallout New Vegas. Oh, no way. Oh, sweet. Is it because of you? Yep. Oh, look at you. and You're an influencer. You are an influencer. It's a great game. I am now I hope, going to. I hope you like it, Wave. Oh, I'm sure you will. I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> oh, geez. Sorry. I'm going to shift gears now and... Alrighty.